So um, we had a quite a successful uh, fishing trip up in, in Norway. So uh, we're going to tie one of the salmon flies, or well, actually, yeah, we could call it the sea trout fly that we got all our fish on. So it's very, very simple. I like my fishing flies to be quick. So fluorescent tube. You know, I use you know traditional one, fluorescent orange. Uh, just add it to the vise. Oh, first of all, let me get the right needle in. Where did I put my needles? There. One second. So. See which one are best fitted. I think the big one. Yeah, let's use the big one. There we are. First of all, we need some thread, of course. I'm just gonna wax it. I think I have my wax here somewhere. There it is. So, starting with the I don't do anything with the body since the tube itself is fluorescent. You know, I don't want to change that. It's perfect. So, I'm gonna start with the fluorescent polar bear. Just a few. There we are. Looks good. Just remove all the, the wool. I think I'm gonna tie it that way. Just spread it across evenly. Wax the thread. Folding the wing backwards. And then tie it in. Then we have the wing. Perfect. And uh, then the second wing. Some black uh, fox. Just gonna find a my dog is snoring. <laughs> it's a tiny piece of this one. Don't want to have too much. There we go. Same there, removing all the, the wool. Don't want it to build that much. And there we are. So 
and just cutting that left side over. And in between I put some ostrich hurl to on each side. So I don't use any flash and a fish during the night. Just fluorescent and peacock hair. That's it. And then we add the last layer of fox. So this one is size large. Remove the, the wool in the wing. But before we add that one, I'm going to um, add a front tackle. I have a few old Mets soft tackle bags. Otherwise you can use hand saddle or whatever. Similar. So there we are. See. Just doing like that for the time point. Cutting the leftovers. So adding the front packet. Dog is snoring. There we are, the hack is in place. I'm just gonna cut that one. Waxing the thread. So I'm just gonna pull it backwards a little bit. Here's the wing. And 
even the material out a bit. She ramps. So waxing the thread again. A few more hurls to each side. That one was short, so taking another one. There we go. That's basically the whole fly. Then in the, in the end, I'm gonna add a bit of a fluorescent rubber tube as well. Um, before I do that, uh, since it's a tube fly and I don't really care about, you know, it should be quick and dirty. It's for fishing. It's not a classic salmon fly, so then I don't mind to use a bit of super glue. I let that dry up and then I will add that fluorescent rubber tube in the end. So it was a bit too much with glue, one second. dry. Take a close-up shot and add it uh, in the presentation of this video. So this is how we tie very very good fishing fly for, for night fishing and uh, yeah it works really well. We had one 75 centimeter sea trout, 181, 187 and uh, in between that we had a 57 centimeter sea trout as well. I think in US they call it sea rum, uh, brown. So that's basically it. So uh, if you like the video, uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, and uh, you're also gonna have uh, other uh, playlists to look at. And you know, please uh, subscribe and click the bell, and uh, if you share the video, why not? Thank you. See you next time.